Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. It's your fave fat sis, honey. Uh, to, my, <laughs> to, the, to my channel, y'all. It's your fave fat sis, Terry, and this is Terry Talks. Honey, listen, I got into the mood to record today, and I am sitting here recording. Let me check my background. It's kind of cute. And if you ha hear any noises in the background, I've got an audience sitting be <laughs> behind the scenes watching me do this. Anyway, um, yeah, there's my niece. There's a baby. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> wow all right my audience wants me to announce them and say who's sitting here kidutsule my cousin ino and her kids my nephew lesedi and my niece sk um so yeah we're just sitting if you hear a baby in the background it will be simply making noises because i'm like don't come in here and they wanted to come in here so what can i do they want to watch the queen working um, so I'm doing two things today. I am, um, as you saw with the title of the video, I'm talking about um, credit and debt and the book that I'm currently reading. And I'm also going to review our Queen Bee's um, newest uh, release in terms of alcoholic beverage. Listen, this video was very spontaneous. It wasn't planned. Um, you know, yeah, it wasn't planned. I just decided to do it now it's not scripted i'll be doing a lot of ums and ahs so please bear with me so let me start with the drinks so that i can uh drink while i swag so umukel bonan came out with a brand new sparkling wine in cans and the yeah it's called sparkling wine nectar this one is nectar rosé i saw another box I didn't even bother looking. I think it was the brute one. So, mm -mm. brute not for me. And so I got the nectar rosé, and this is what the box looks like. Like your favorite influencers. <laughs> I told you about the baby. Anyway, so when you open the box, so it opens like this, right? And by the way, there's three cans in here that were chilling in the fridge. I already drank one. <laughs> yesterday because i got too excited honey i got too excited so and then once you open the box there's this message here can you guys see it yeah and the message says moments of real luxury happen when you discover the treasure within and it's got house of bng social media facebook instagram and twitter and signed our girl bonang and Refrigerate and consume once open, store in a cool, dry area. Each can, Basalwani, each can, I want you to see this. Focus. Yeah, there it goes. Each can has 10% alcohol. Aibu, ritotahwa, mugelo torutahi, swalu, nabatumba mudimu. My girl is gonna get us drunk, y'all. So anyway, the cans are like this. So cute. By the way, I they retail for 190 for four cans at Woolworths. So yeah, I don't know. Um, expensive is relative. So it might be expensive to you. It might be cheap to another person, depending on because this is a luxury brand. So I didn't expect it to be cheap. It's actually cheaper than I thought it would be. I thought it would run to the same amount the bottle um, MCC runs for because the bottle of uh, BNG is like 399, 400 Rand. I thought it would be that and I thought it would be six cans. So it's four cans and they retail for 190. And this is what the can looks like, Mazzolin. So we've got a glass over here. Let's open it up. Oh. Yes, honey. She is open. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells so nice. Pouring it up. Yeah. So there it is. I already know how it's going to taste, but for purposes of this video, darling, I'm just gonna... Mm -mm. Ah. 
Lena, come on out. My audience, yeah. <laughs> Yo, come on out. Yeah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, this is nice. You know what to taste? Mm, you know what to taste? Oh, guys, you can see my glass, right? Is got a kiss of the EV2 on this thing. But yeah. Mm. Guys, this is divine. So nice. So anyway, um, uh, Kana Kiring, uh, <laughs> the book that I'm reading, <laughs> the book that I'm reading, y'all. So, you know, your face is sitting around and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to learn how to manage my finances because the finances, they are trap, you know, and this being 2020, we've been through a lot. By the way, we've been, we're still all going through a lot. It's only like November now. And only now am I like getting back into the swing of things, right? That's just, should tell you how hectic. Honestly, for me, 2020 has been really, really hectic. I've been going through a lot of things. And, ooh, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, we've all been going through a lot of things. You know, the one I came out about, they were going through a lot of things, you know? The studio audience that wants to be interactive and shouldn't be interactive. So we've been going through a lot of things, and only now, am I coming to? And I'm, am I? You know, I've I've lost a lot of loved ones. I buried a lot of loved ones this year, a lot, um, and and a lot of people have done the same. So this this thing is not unique to me. A lot of us have lost loved ones along the way in 2020 um yeah so recovering from or not even recovering dealing with that grief is something that i'm currently doing and i wish us comfort i wish us healing and Cynthia agrees with me that we she wishes us healing as well so one of the things that i've been struggling with or want to know more about or be in control of is my finances I am genius. I'm a finances guys. And Asini Sasonka, I recently posted a status and then I was like, this is advice to everybody who doesn't have credit. These are the things you should never get. And I listed and I said, an overdraft, a credit card, a revolving loan, a personal loan. Yeah, those things you should never get yourself into especially when you don't even know and clothing accounts but and clothing accounts those things you should never get into because they snowball right because i remember i started with a credit card and i was like no i'm gonna use it for emergencies did i ever go back can i list one emergency that i use the credit card for zero ma'am give me zero but give me a million rand of debt that's what you can give me so i started with a credit card and these banks are smart right they'll start you off with like a thousand rand and the next thing it increases and the next thing you are deep in the shit right of debt and then you move on from the credit card you go take a revolving loan from there you, it's an overdraft i was personally for me i was drowning in all of this debt and i was like what is it even for what did i even do with the money i don't even know what i, I did with the money and needless to say i am cleaning that currently in the process of cleaning that mess up of paying those debts off of closing those accounts and dealing with them so i learned the hard way <laughs> and i remember even convincing my sister that hi ah, man take a credit card it's overdraft and luckily she didn't go overboard like i did so she was able to manage her debts as well but now we realize and this is advice i would give to anybody who is under the age of 30 and even over the age of 30 but under the age of 30 why because you're starting out to work uh, you don't have debt yet i would say do not even take out any credit the only credit facilities that you should take out are for a car or your home when you're buying a home 
over and above that save money save money to buy whatever it is that you need and if you can't then you can't afford it leave it alone take credit only and i don't even know what kind of emergency the horn can it be for you to take out a loan you know i don't know i honestly don't know uh because i was even going to say funeral but you should have funeral covers you know you should take out funeral policies funeral covers and even even join a policy one thing i learned this year over losing so many people is that over and above over having funeral policies you should actually join a funeral parlor who deals with epoxy who deals with storing of the deceased of paying for umkoti to bury the deceased all of those costs um uh, uh, funeral covers might not cover so but if you've joined e, 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 not even a burial society but if you've joined a, a a a undertaker you know when you've joined an undertaker so to speak you're able when you whatever you pay you know it covers epoxy because if you want to uh, gather or hope can you tell they are yeah, 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 the funeral policy to pay for that it becomes more expensive and you might even go over the you might even need more money over and above what the policies are paying for so it's a smart idea to not only have funeral policies but also have a undertaker that you are uh, associated to or affiliated to that you pay a monthly uh, premium to for you and your family so that you know which epochs and others are covered and the money you get from policies is to buy uh, food and other things and higher chairs and tents funerals are expensive and we all know that it's not a new thing so even for funerals i wouldn't say take out credit but uh take out policies that will cover those expenses you know so anyway and by the way i'm no financial expert so don't take my, do not take my word for it i am reading a book by nicolette machine and it's called what's your move right a collection of ordinary financial lesson, le lessons lessons nicolette machine is uh the finance bunny or something like that she calls herself that um and so she just speaks of her she's very interested in uh finances so she's researched on her own so she's also not a certified financial advisor or financial services consultant or, or anything like that she even has that disclaimer in her book that over and above the book you know i'm still clumsy y'all kisali the way all along so over and above her book you should you need financial advice you should seek it from a um qualified financial advisor let me pick up the book Yo. anyway so in the book right i went straight to chapter say then paying off your debts is the best investment and i started reading that and basically what it says is that the money that you're paying you should increase towards your debt and uh pay off to close off and uh what determine what should determine that is uh percentage of interest rate the higher the interest rate the more priority you should give that debt so she even gives examples to say for example she lists she lists a few dates to say this one has 23 percent interest this one 15 this one 10 so on and so forth and she's like so you start off paying the 23 percent one 23 percent of interest one because that is more expensive even though it might be a little amount of money as opposed to the others but it's charging you more interest than your other debt so pay that close that off and then the next so on and so forth and what you should essentially be left with is your house and car those are, should only be the only type of credit that you have to your name so paying off your debt will be a great thing and i really am enjoying <laughs> but also avoid balloon um uh, on the car as well so try to finance it as much as you can or uh, uh try opt for finance that doesn't have balloon payments according to my studio audience so guys as i said i'm still getting into the book 
and I am really enjoying these insights, especially from a South African who knows my struggles, who we, are, we live in the same kind of economy. So it's interesting when you read these kind of books or the books that have been on the shelf before were mainly by people who are not like you, who are maybe in other countries or even white South Africans who don't have the same historical, economic, historical experience as yourself. They don't have black tax. So she addresses black tax in this book, which is a great thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it incorporates that and it, she, she, I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure it will be enlightening to read her take on black tax. And this battery is about to die, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I didn't charge it properly, so it's gonna die on me. And I was busy. Anyway, um, I'm reading this book. I'll come back with what uh, are the lessons that I've learned. But basically those things, those few things from my own personal experience is that don't take out the debt that you don't take out credit that you don't need stay far away if you cannot save for it then you don't need it because listen here with x amount of debt that i am dealing with there are very few things i can come back and point and say i did one two three the things the things that i can point that i've done even around my home around my house were with my money it wasn't even with any credit card or any kind of credit. It was money that I had, that I saved, that I then took to go do whatever. Muntu. You understand what I'm saying? So, guys, you, you don't need credit. Manage your credit. Eh? It's a take bet. Ah, ah. Whoa. <laughs> Anyway, I was talking too much and I forgot to drink my BNG. Um, mm, BNG, five out of five. Our oh, girl, we should strive to be like our girl Bonang. Make clever business decisions um, that will bring us money that are on brand for us, you know? So we should learn. Um, a few things from our girl B that we should invest our time and skills in great business uh, ideas. Yeah, if you're gonna take out a loan, can it be to start a business and can you pay it off as well after you started the business and then the business makes money? And hopefully the business does make money. I will, I will come back and talk about um, uh, my entrepreneurial journey because I also started an entrepreneurial journey and so I'll come back and talk about that as well uh, my studio audience has been very distracting uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video the battery is making me sign out before time so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah follow me on Instagram Terry forever by the way my Instagram is dripping sauce and plopping flavor honey it is dripping sauce right Dro uh, dripping swag what is whatever she says in that video but I pop flavor and I drip sauce everywhere <laughs> that's what my Instagram is doing right um, yeah, man, can't wait to see you in the next video. In the next video, maybe I'll have makeup on and I'll be cute. I'm not promising anything, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.